The Security Task Force held the meeting with Labour at the newly built press centre, which will be used to facilitate all media briefings during the elections. The Inspector General of Police, Dr. George Akufudampari, indicated that the security forces will ensure Ghana's democracy is safeguarded. For this election and beyond, the blueprint we have developed for the first time in the history of this country to mainstream election security into the totality of security arrangement and make election security a process and not an event, we have 30 years from now in mind. Members of the Election Security Task Force took turns to warn against any attempt to disrupt the peace of the country. We will not allow miscants to come and disturb our peace. They dare cause mayhem, we shall deal with them. We are doing our best, and specifically in prisons. Uh, I don't have enough rooms for more clients, so I prefer everybody being law-abiding during the elections. The business community that violence is never an option. National inflows that a country receives from all after the elections so that businesses will survive. And the use of AI and deepfake related news that could trigger violence that could call the security uh, to service and therefore once they are prepared on all this space we believe they will leave a footprint that will make Ghana proud. When there's an issue here um, is the business community who will be affected most. Our properties are immobile we cannot move with them. The Electoral Commission has warned against any forms of misinformation and disinformation, warning individuals not to interfere with any of the processes during the elections. Your responsibility is to go and cast one ballot. You don't have to stop anybody from voting. It happens at times that even with, uh, with, between spouses, somebody will be threatened that I belong to party A. If you are my wife or husband, you belong to party B. If you don't change, there will be divorce. Ghana's democracy will once again be tested after the country dropped in the Global Peace Index and lost its position as the second most peaceful country in Africa. Christian Yali, TV3 News, Police Headquarters, Accra.